This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Bronsted Lowry theory of acids and bases. So let's start with a quick definition. A Bronsted Lowry acid is a proton donor, and a Bronsted Lowry base is a proton acceptor. So here we have an example. In this reaction, ethanoic acid reacts with water to form the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion. In the forward reaction, ethanoic acid donates a proton to the water molecule and the water molecule accepts the proton. So ethanoic acid is a bronsted Lowry acid as it donates a proton to the water molecule. And the water molecule is the bronsted Lowry base as it accepts the proton from the ethanoic acid. By losing a proton, ethanoic acid forms the ethanoate ion and by gaining a proton, water forms the hydronium ion. Two species that differ by a proton, such as ethanoic acid and the ethanoate ion, are known as a conjugate acid-base pair. Conjugate acid-base pairs will be covered in more detail in the next video. Here we can see the structures of the species involved in the reaction. Ethanoic acid donates this proton to the water molecule. The water molecule uses one of its lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom to form a bond with the proton. So a bronsted Lowry acid must contain hydrogen, and a bronsted Lowry base must have a lone pair of electrons. A proton in solution can be represented in two ways, as either the hydronium ion, which is H3O+, or the hydrogen ion, which is H+. In the previous slide, we saw this reaction, in which ethanoic acid reacts with water to form the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion. This reaction can also be represented by the second equation, which shows ethanoic acid dissociating to form the ethanoate ion and the hydrogen ion. Note that in this second equation, the water molecule is omitted. Here we can see the Lewis structure of the hydronium ion. The hydronium ion is formed when the oxygen atom in a water molecule uses its lone pair of electrons to bond with a hydrogen ion. This can be represented in solution as H3O plus or simply H plus. In our next example, we have the reaction of hydrogen chloride gas with water to form the hydronium ion and the chloride ion. So when hydrogen chloride gas dissolves in water, it donates a proton to the water molecule, therefore it acts as a bronsted Lowry acid. The water molecule accepts the proton, acting as a bronsted Lowry base. At the bottom, we have an alternative way to represent the reaction in which aqueous HCl dissociates to form a hydrogen ion and a chloride ion. In our last example, we have the reaction between ammonia and water to produce the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion. In this reaction, the water molecule is donating a proton to the ammonia, which accepts the proton. So the water is acting as a bronsted Lowry acid and the ammonia is acting as a bronsted Lowry base. In the reaction, the ammonia uses the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom to form a bond with the proton. This produces the ammonium ion NH4+. And by donating a proton, the water molecule forms the hydroxide ion. So let's end with a summary. A bronsted Lowry acid is a proton donor, and a bronsted Lowry acid must contain hydrogen. A bronsted Lowry base is a proton acceptor, and a bronsted Lowry base must have a lone pair of electrons to accept a proton. Two species that differ by a proton are called conjugate acid-base pairs. These are covered in more detail in the next video.